reframe is a brilliant reframe to stop any negative thoughts getting into your subconscious mind. Now we have to be careful when we're talking about this because when we try and stop something it means we're actually placing our attention on the, the stopping, on the resisting and that's not what I want you to do here. I want you to have a little bit of fun with this practice, hence me wearing this thinking cap, okay? So I will have shared with you previously about your big head and that in your big head you have your conscious mind and you have your subconscious mind and between the two there is this protection partition and it will literally protect anything new from coming in. So when you have thoughts that you repeat, 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 repeat and repeat eventually they will pass through that partition because your subconscious mind now sees them as familiar thoughts and allows them in. What I've asked you all to do is to actually think about that you from, from now on you are wearing a thinking cap. This is your filter for you to think about what you're thinking about constantly. So that's why I've got my thinking cap on for this particular reframe that I'm going to give you today. So this reframe is something that I have shared in my Boost program already, but it's a reminder little video. And it is the reframe of, I'm choosing to not let that in. Now, very often we have other people who say things to us, put us down, tell us we're not good enough. And the more we hear that, if it's repeated over a process and period of time, then eventually your subconscious mind will accept that as a belief system. Not a truth, just a belief system. But unfortunately, with our belief systems, we believe those belief systems to be true. But they're just perceptions. So, the other point I want to make here is it's not just other people that put negative thoughts into your subconscious mind. It's you. You do it too. You put yourself down. You have such negative self-talk. And I'm not saying you personally. I'm saying we as a human species do it. I do it. I know everybody does it. It's a very self-protective mechanism, but unfortunately it can go wrong. So, if you recognise today that you are putting yourself down, you are saying something that you just so used to saying, oh, I'm just, oh, I'm just so disorganised, oh, I am just messy, or I'm no good at cooking, or I'm a terrible parent, whatever it is, the more you say it, the more your subconscious mind will absorb it. So put your thinking cap on today and say these words, I am choosing to not let that in. Now that word, I am, those three words, I am choosing are so important because if you say, oh, I'm not letting that in, I'm not letting that in, oh, no, 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 go away, I'm not going to let that in, that's quite resistant and what we resist persists. So you're actually placing energy on not letting it in, whereas if you say in a good positive way, I am choosing to not let that in, it completely changes it. So you're not resisting it, you're making a conscious choice. So that is this cognitive reframe for you today. I am choosing to not let that in. So what are you going to choose to not let in your big head if you've enjoyed this video, then I would highly recommend you check out the courses that we have available at the moment. On the Big Happiness website, you will find links to any courses that we've got available. Two that I would highly recommend to you are one, um, Hardwiring Happiness. That is a seven day experiment into learning how you can start to hardwire your brain and your nervous system for happiness. It is 
jam packed with tools, with techniques, with knowledge, with the science of self. So that's number one. Number two, if you fancy a deeper dive and a much more experiential experience, then I would recommend Boost to you. Now, Boost stands for Biohacks to Optimize and Organize Self Exploration and Transformation. Basically, it's about helping you to build real resilience um, amid fear and uncertainty. So if you're ready to make sense of your thinking, your behaviours, your negative patterns, uh, those patterns of protection that I like to call them, um, then Boost would be a good place for you to go and uh, explore yourself. So have a look at the links and I hope to see you there.